Welcome to Cards Unboxed. We've had a little break, but now we're back with an amazing unboxing. Today, we're looking at the Spider-Man No Way Home playing cards by Card Mafia, officially licensed by Disney. This is a truly unique setup. I'll go into detail on this talk in just a second, but first, the playing cards, printed by Taiwan Playing Card Company on casino stock with a legendary finish coating. The tuck case is an extra wide case that splits in the middle to reveal the cards in the pocket. The tuck itself is a laser cut engraved and hand assembled with 3D embossing and texturing to look like the Spider-Man suit. It's finished in red, black and gold foil to look like the Iron Spider suit from the Infinity War and Endgame films. The front has that unmistakable Spider-Man emblem. The back's a little bit more muted but still has Spider-Man iconography. The sides also have a foil finish text saying playing cards on one edge and Spider-Man on the other. The design follows over onto the top and you can see the shine of the foil and the logo and the web designs that catches the light. On the bottom you get the Marvel logo in red foil and the Disney holographic sticker to prove authenticity. The tuck opens to reveal the blue LED Spider logo kill. and extending the box turns the LEDs red. And whilst the back doesn't light up, it's still impressive with its multicoloured foil. The deck came with batteries for me to install, which I've done off camera. It was simple, you just pull out the sleeve and pop the batteries in. When you slide it back in, the LEDs are ready. If you are interested in any of the Card Mafia decks, there's an affiliate link in the description below. It helps keep the channel going. The playing cards come tucked into a little pocket at the top and they're protected in a second layer of cellophane. Now for a good look at the back design, you can see the red, black and gold design work which is representation of the chest of the suit mirrored top and bottom. The gold ink's metallic which you'll see throughout the rest of the card designs. Here's a close up of that card texture on the legendary finish. You get two jokers with the same design but red on one and black on the other. It features a comic book illustration version of Spider-Man. I'm sure someone out there will be able to tell me what comic variation this is. There's also a metallic gold border around every card face. You get fully customised pips with this deck. My only gripe here is that the spade and the clubs are a bit similar. They could be a little bit more distinctive. We do get custom aces, large versions of the custom pips, and the prominent ace of spades has a comic book illustration version of Spider-Man mid-thwip. We get custom court, and for the hearts we have Rhino, Lizard and Peter Parker. All the courts have suit specific red and black line work, comic book illustrations of the key characters, and then the gold metallic ink borders and infills. The lineup for the clubs we have Venom, Spider Girl, and Spider Man in the symbiote suit. The diamonds, the lineup is Vulture, Ghost Spider, and a suited up Miles Morales. And finally, the spades have Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus and Spider-Man in the Iron Spider suit. These cards seem to fan and spread just fine, although there is a slickness to them. They may look like their cushion finish, but don't feel the same. I think it's fair to say, whilst the handling of the cards feels perfectly fine, and even though the artwork of the cards is fully customised, very few people are going to be buying this deck for the cards. It's all about that amazing tuck. That's the big draw here. It's a statement piece. And the tuck case is definitely going to turn some heads and start some conversations. It's also very clear that this level of customization and quality of the finished product is the main reason for the very premium price tag. And there's now a version from Card Mafia where the cards are gilded too, which adds to that cost. So what do you guys think of these? How do you think they compare to the other Marvel Mafia decks, like the Thor and the Iron Man decks? Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff, and don't miss future videos. And we're also at cards underscore unboxed on Instagram.